Hello and welcome to Spotlight on the Arts. I'm Mark McLemore. You may not be able to grow your family or your friends exactly like you'd like to, but what about your garden? Arizona Theatre Company is starting their new season with a comedy called Native Gardens. Joining me now to talk about it are director Jane Jones and actor Arlene Chico Luco. Welcome to the show. Hi, Hi thank you for having you. us. So please, each of you, share with me some of your first thoughts when you read the play. What did you think? Wow, um, it's very tight. It's a, it's a very tight, compressed piece of literature that travels many miles um, with four extraordinarily human people <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and reaches a, a wonderful crescendo of bringing the confluence of comedy and social justice into um, our world of theater. And Arlene? I was so surprised by it, honestly. I was impressed by the, the level of conversation that it brings forth, and also just how funny it is. Yeah. <laughs> I was asking you before we did the interview about the longevity of this play. It's only been around and being performed for about two years. That's right. Mm -hmm. But what do you think it has to say that's new about being neighbors and sharing space here in the 21st century? Jane? Well. Um, I think that as, you know, as, as America is changing so quickly in terms of our demographics and people are living longer and more immigrants are moving into America and becoming this is their home, I think one of the things that the play really has us look at is how are we all going to live in this world where everyone has to become a neighbor. And um, I think it's just such a great, rich, um, opportunity to see two couples uh, living in Georgetown, D.C. A young Latinx couple moves in. They're coming from somewhere in the Southwest. And, mm -hmm. and then an older white couple are living in Georgetown, have been there for 40 years. And one of the things, the great, um, <laughs> the great challenge of the play is that the Latinx couple decides they want to be, build a wall between the two properties. And so here we are, a wall which as our dramaturg uh, said, it's, the wall is not about keeping folks out, it's about what you can't talk about. And I love that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what did the metaphor of the wall mean to you? Uh, what do you think it's saying in this play? I think it brings to question what we want to keep out and what we're willing to let into our lives, to our communities to our world, to our country. And tell me about how you keep comedy fresh when you're rehearsing it. I mean, uh, after you've done these jokes a few times and played off this timing, uh, what keeps it going and what, how are you able to keep it alive and fresh for the stage? Well, all comedy, the best comedy, is um, in based in truth. I mean, it is oddly funny when somebody slips on a banana peel. I don't know why that is, but it's oddly <laughs> funny when it happens. And so that's the truth of it. If you, if you go to the banana peel and you, you pretend to slip on it, it's not funny. But the actual event of the slipping on it, for some reason, even though it's kind of cruel humor, we find that event funny. And so that's, that's the exercise in the rehearsal room, is to come to the absolute truth of the moment, of why that moment has been conceived, by Karen Zacharias, who is the playwright, and she's, she, she knows what she's doing. Do you have a background in comedy, Arlene? Um, do I have a background in, no, actually. <laughs> well, that was pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, you know, it's so funny. I've actually done a lot more drama than comedy, so this is incredibly refreshing. Although it is true, Jane, what you say, that it, it's really just about the truth of it. So it's not necessarily that we're playing the comedy of the play or playing those funny moments. We're really just investing in the, in the genuine um, thoughts and emotions and feelings of the characters and, and, and what the playwright has written. Arizona Theatre Company's production of Native Gardens will play in Tucson at the Temple of Music and Art from September 8th through the 29th. Then it travels to Phoenix for a performance from October 4th to the 21st. Thank you for watching Spotlight on the Arts.